Buenas tardes. Buenas tardes. You speak English? Yes, I do. I would like to get your opinion on this. With a hobby for a book binder. The Nine Gates, superb edition. Very rare. It's a perfect copy. Yes. You used to own it, right? We used to, we yes. Sold it. We sold it when the opportunity presented itself. It was too good it's to... Too good to miss. An excellent sale. An excellent buy. Impeccable condition. Impeccable. Are you the present owner? No, a client of mine. I would never have believed she would part with it. Never. She? Mrs. Telfer. Mm -hmm. I understood that it was Mr. Telfer that had bought it. He paid for it. It was Mrs. Telfer who made him buy it. He didn't seem particularly... Interested. An exceptional specimen. Do you think it could be a forgery? A forgery? You hear that, Pablo? Oh, I took you for a professional. You speak too lightly of forgeries. Far too lightly. Forging a book is very expensive. Paper of the period, red inks, too expensive to be profitable. Still, it can be done. Of course. Well, it requires a great skill, but yes, it can be done. Do you think that could be the case here? What makes you ask? My client wishes to satisfy himself on the book's authenticity. His name is Balkan, Boris Balkan of New York. All books have a destiny of their own. Even a life of their own. Mr. Balkan is a celebrated collector. He's no fool. He must know this book is authentic. We know it. So must he. We've had this book for years. Many years. An ample opportunity to study it thoroughly. Printing, the binding, a magnificent example of 17th century Venetian craftsmanship. Finest rock paper, resistant to the passage of time. Now know your modern wood pulp. Watermarks, ink, typefaces. If this is a forgery or a copy with missing pages restored, is the work of a master. Master. Yes. Have you studied the engravings? They seem to have some underlying significance. But of course. Here, for example. This one could be interpreted as a warning. Venture too far, it seems to say, and danger will descend on you from above. This type of books often contain little puzzles, especially in the case of such an illustrious collaborator. Collaborator? Mm -hmm. You couldn't not proceed very far in your research, senor. Yeah, look close. And you see, only six of the nine engravings were signed by Aristide Torquia. Yes. And the other three? But this is one of them. LCF. Who's LCF? Think. Lucifer? Hmm. Very perceptive of you, senor. Tolkia was burnt alive because he wrote this book in collaboration with someone else. Come on, you can't honestly believe the man that who the... wrote this book is so in alliance with the devil and went to the stake for it. Even hell has its heroes, senor. 